what kind of trouble Shocker's into this time. You might have heard about the robbery at Roseman's auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm, is that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible demonic faces. Get another example of the explosion in mass criminals since Spider-Man came on the scene. Let's hear your thoughts. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, I see your point, but Spider-Man stopped those guys today. Saying he's like them because he wears a mask isn't fair. It's like prejudice. Wrong! Here's a little lesson in the English language, my friend. Prejudice means to prejudge someone before you know anything about them. I know all I need to about Spider-Man. He runs around causing chaos, wearing a mask so he doesn't have to answer for his shenanigans, and a flashy costume so he gets attention to feed his gigantic, insatiable ego. Now, if I'm a mentally unstable person, and I see him getting all this coverage, what am I going to do? It's called copycat behavior, people, and it's ruining New York. Spider-Man, the situation's under control. When the vulture cracked my eye lens, it almost blinded me. That was a wake-up call. Had to upgrade to a stronger material. Jammer I whipped up to jam Vulture's wings. Too bad he improved them after that. Possible drug deal in progress. Nearest unit approach with caution. Please proceed to Hell's Facts. Over. Drug trade's gotten more aggressive post-Fisk. Gotta stop that out. Ah, you guys are like little kingpins in training. So cute. Not how I thought today was gonna go. Back off, boy! <laughs> <laughs> 
drugs are maybe my most disliked criminal activity. Definitely top five. Or bottom five. However, that works. This vial of the lizard's blood, I was able to mix up a cure and turn him back into Dr. Connors. Too bad it didn't last. Herman. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you! You'll just slow me down! Wow, that's considerate. What's the money for, Herman? Why do you care? Actually, I don't. Just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking! But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level! Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman! At least talk to me so we can make it interesting! Herman? What? Do you only answer to Shocker now? Mr. Shocker? <clears throat> gotcha. Now let's talk. I said... I'm done! Noted. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move! I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate. Which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone. Or for someone. You can tell me who it is now. Or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Move, move, move. I need to keep up.
know what, Herman? You have like zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. It looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah, I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. Are you okay, ma'am? Carmen, and I'm fine. It's my husband, Rodrigo. He's been acting weird, and I just found out he's meeting this woman. Well, listen, I'm not the best person to help with relationship problems. It's not like that. I think she's involved <clears throat> with bad people. Rodrigo might be in real trouble. He's scared, but he won't tell me anything. I can check it out. Any idea when he's meeting her next? Tonight, by the detox center in Greenwich. Okay. Don't worry, Carmen. I'll find out what's going on. Detox center's not far. Carmen just sent me Rodrigo's picture. Let's see if I can find him. Rodrigo. He's really nervous. That woman doesn't seem like a girlfriend. I'll get a photo and see if Carmen recognizes her. You better not hold anything back. Why would I? If that picture gets out, my life. That angle. Need to get it straight on. Very nice. Gotcha. Looks good. Remember, tell anyone about this, and I leak the photo. Plans. This sounds bigger than I thought. I better follow the blackmailer and find out how big. Carmen, I'm uploading a photo to you. Does this woman look familiar? No, I've never seen her. What were they talking about? Sounds like she's blackmailing him. She mentioned something about plans. My husband works security at a casino in Atlantic City. She could be planning a heist, but I'll need more evidence before I can do anything. Let me know if I can help. All right. I'm gonna see where she's taking the plans. I'll be in touch. Another victim or an accomplice? I need a photo. No perches with a good angle on this new guy. Looks like it's the underside of the High Line. Yeah, 
soon as he saw the photo, he fell in line. You Got always it! always was a sucker. Boss will be at Let's see the plans. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta catch my train. I don't want to keep the boss with me. That's gonna be our biggest score yet. Hell yeah. How many people are in on this? I've gotta follow him. Subway. Need to track him from up here. Where is he getting on? That tapping into the train system should help me follow the train's path. You're kidding. Carmen, the blackmailer met some guy under the high lines. Sounded like you knew your husband. I'm sending you the photo. That's Deshaun, Rodrigo's best friend from college. He went to prison years ago on a robbery charge. Casino plans and a criminal record. Not a great combination. I need to find out who else is in on it. If they're hitting the casino, they'll need at least a wheelman and a safe cracker. I watch a lot of heist movies. Sounds like it. I'll let you know what I find out. End of the line. I should head over near the subway exit and wait for him to get out. He's heading for that office building. They're on the move. I have all the evidence I need. Now I just have to stop that car. It when a plan falls apart. Hey, Carmen, your husband's pal and his team just had their trip to beautiful Atlantic City canceled. Like, do something? Thank you. I spoke to Rodrigo. That blackmail photo shows him driving the night Deshaun committed the robbery. But Rodrigo didn't know about it. He was just picking up his friend. I've got a contact on the force. She'll help Rodrigo, especially if he'll agree to testify about the blackmail. 
Deshaun! He will. Or I'll show him he needs to be a lot more afraid of me than Deshaun. Thanks, Spider-Man. Oh. I got him! I have to once again defend myself against the spurious claims from McDonald Mac Gargan, a.k.a. The Scorpion. Yes, as I fully disclosed, I bankrolled the experiment that gave him superior strength, speed, and that unsightly cyborg tail. The idea was to create an anti-Spider-Man who is not a threat and stops menaces. I had no idea he was crazy. Do you think his resume said psycho with a poisoning fetish? His lawsuit is a transparent attempt to reduce his sentence at the raft by placing the blame for his deeds on me. And that is one package J. Jonah Jameson refuses. have something to do on stakeouts. Called in an active drug deal. Officers needed in the vicinity of Vanderbilt.
not sure if opening this would set the Sandman free. Huh? But I'm in no hurry to find out. Chase, all right. Please tell me your horn plays, Dixie. Hold fire. Let's see what Spider-Man can do. Now that's just. I guess this is what they call organized crime. Not how I thought today was gonna go. I can't believe what I'm seeing. <laughs> Huh? I've had worse commutes. Nighttime bird watching? Well, I was watching for nocturnal raptors in the park when I noticed a bunch of men armed with rifles over at Belvedere Castle. Thanks for the heads up, Miss, uh... Stephanie. Let me know if I can help. I'll keep an eye on the activities from up here. Thanks for the assist, Stephanie. Why would armed men be at Belvedere Castle? Got a hunch they're not... A tourist.
Fisk's men. This isn't good. I want a bagel. Might be nice. Sleep it off. That's all of them. Let's find out what they were up to. Not sure what's going on here. I wonder if there's any info I can get from this... Stephanie, a bird just stole a flash drive full of evidence. Maybe a pigeon. Is that normal? It is nesting season, so I'm not surprised. You know, I think there's a nest in the trees just southeast of the castle. Great, I'll check it out. He's got buddies. Great. Come back with that flash drive, you dirty sky rats! Try positive reinforcement. You know, pictures are actually remarkably intelligent. Remarkably intelligent, huh? Uh, hey, pigeons! Sorry about the dirty sky rats thing. Maybe we can make a deal? Whatever Fisk is paying you in birdseed, I'll double it! Got one. He doesn't have the drive. Fuck this. This is it. I got the drive. Back to the laptop to see what Fisk's men were up to. They were uploading a worm to the Central Park Wi-Fi system. This could give them backdoor access to a ton of personal data. Come to think of it, even I use this network. Wait, it's still uploading remotely. There must be multiple access points. Stephanie, you're my eyes in the sky. See anything else strange in the park? Uh, I see a pair of horned owls and... Oh, more guys at a nearby junction box. Thanks. Keep a lookout for anything else. I need to get to that junction box before the upload comes. If they can't access the laptops, they can't upload. You're gonna crush your skull! Come on! That's a bear! Thanks for the heads up. I better get moving. Two more? I never thought I'd say this. But why does Central Park need such strong Wi-Fi coverage? I thought people came here to get away. There they are. Need to keep them away from that box. Hey, hey there he is. Takes the worst I can't be punch him if he's in the air. Boston high. Are you kidding me? Get back! No one can test me! You want some? 
People of Manhattan can rest easy knowing that their passwords and cat videos are safe. Spider-Man? I think they might have seen me. Oh no. Are you sure? Uh, pretty sure. Armed men just arrived. Lock the roof entrance and hold tight. I'm on my way. I need to get to Stephanie before Fisk's men do. She wouldn't be involved if it weren't for me. They're trying to break down the door. We know you're working with the spider. Open up! Nearly there. Split up and find the girl with the binoculars. Stephanie. Oh, thank you, Spider-Man. That was a little more exciting than my average night of birding. Hey, thank you. Your eagle eyes stopped an incarcerated crime boss from harvesting half the city's personal data. Not too shabby, huh? Plus, I found a nest of red-breasted nuthatches when you triple kick that guy in the face. Real beauties, too. You want to check them out? Thanks, but uh, I think I'll focus on jailbirds for now.
Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. Now I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Don't think about it. Just... Peter! What can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. It scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Veteran homelessness is down, but still way too high. Good thing my buddy Flash Thompson's doing his best to fix that. I could patch these shoes. They'll last a while. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? 
Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't forget, forget, I just... I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> His tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. <sighs> He's right. How did I lose track of time? Wilson Fisk Science Prize Trophy. And check. Peter, Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Drug trade's gotten more aggressive post Fisk. Gotta stump that out. I'm shaking in my boots. You oh, no. Just make the papers. Fisk will kill us. Get the spider. Ah, oh, come on, fellas. You can't keep ducking income tax like this. Knocking the ever-loving stuffing out of dealers is my anti-drug. Cops are coming. I've been on worse terms with them, but why take chances? Muggers never take a day off. Oh, you started without me.
two-bit mugger thinks he's the next Wilson Fisk. Well, they are going to jail, so... Thank you. High five! before they end up in driver's head videos. have an impressive social circle. Give that real man props. Manhattan rush hour is no joke. Use these electricians' glue. I've always been about the truth. When I was a reporter and a newspaper publisher, I printed the truth. And now as a broadcaster, I speak it. Sometimes it hurts. But it's my responsibility to bring it to you. And the truth is, the city is not quiet. It is not peaceful. It is a disaster waiting to happen. Threats roiling under the surface like a hungry shark just beneath the waterline. Don't let Spider-Man fool you. You are not safe. None of us are. My ESU ID badge from my semester as a teaching assistant.
How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes. <laughs> hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Oh. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. Easy, easy, easy. They, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. I wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. We should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. It must be... late nights in this lab. Glad Doc keeps the snacks stocked up. We should get more of those little cheese squares, though. Peter. Oh, Peter. Don't even know why I'm bothering to record this. Norman has neutered us, and soon the lab will be out of funds. We were on the verge of such great things. If we had just a bit more time and money, I know all the ideas in our heads would have come pouring. Wait. Ideas in our heads. My God, Peter, that's it! Hmm. What was Doc working on with this?
great conductivity. Not sure about long-term wear and tear, though. Might delaminate easily. was testing the biocompatibility of graphene. Great. Pretty high cytotoxicity. Not sure I'd use this as tissue interface. Running tests on carbon nanotube biocompatibility.
decent candidate for a direct tissue interface, but I feel like we can do better. Hmm, graphene. But the structure is super unique. What is this? Oh, awesome! It's been nano-latticed. Wow, that's strong. Could be a great structural element for a prosthetic. 